<laughs> I don't know. LPS fanatic sound effects are a little weird today. You're wearing your robes. Well, it was kind of a cold flight, um, but anyway. You look kind of scared. Oh, it's nothing. Um, it, let's just say I don't have a home anymore. I, I guess you could put it that way. And I think this human potion is about to, well, I'm not going to look human anymore. I'm curious to see what your marks look like. Well, I just have three dots above my left eye and a crown in the middle of my head. Oh. But why do you say you have no home? I ran away. Why? My uncle tried to force me to marry someone I don't love. Because... I'm ready to join your side and see what this dragon has to say. I can't believe that. I mean, it's a good thing, but I just... Wow. Root beer. <laughs> Root beer's hilarious. I will warn you, he might have his chef's hat on. Cinnamon. Hello, Scarlet. Do you remember that chicken I was trying to catch the other day? What in the world? Yes, Cinnamon, I remember. I finally caught him, and I made him into a nice stew. Who is this? Is this the boy you said you liked? Shh, Cinnamon. Oh, excuse me, love. I then see our feelings are mutual. Well, I believe it's time that the truth is told to you. The warlocks do lie, and sometimes their lies are very, very big. I understand that I did kill your mother. But I did not mean to. I was trying to protect her. You see, she was my guardian. She was protecting me from your kind. Your father found out that she was protecting me. And because she was a human, he was going to have to kill her either way. You know the rule. Humans are to be killed if they are found in a warlock clan. Your father did love your mother, I suppose. But I knew that his clan comes first and he would have to kill her. So... I went to protect her, and the only way I could protect her is by killing your father. But I never did kill him. I missed. Wait, my father is dead. No. I killed a brown husky. He was not your father. I could smell your father miles away. He has the smell of evil and deceit. I smell him on you now. No, that's my uncle. Well, your uncle has a lot to explain, young arrow. 
What is your uncle's name? If your uncle's name is Scar, then he is not your uncle. He lied to you. What? No. This... This can't be right. Please tell me this is not the truth. I'm sorry, but it is. My father's been alive all along, and he never had the bones to tell me? I'm so sorry. I'm afraid it's true. I have a question, Cinnamon. The night his mother died, why did she say, please, I have no choice? Let me give you the memory. Arrow, stay here. You'll be safe. But mommy... Stay here. Stay here. Melinda! You cannot stay here with these warlocks. They will kill you! Please, I have no choice. I have a son. That's his son. Please don't kill him. No, Melinda! You blasted beast! No, I was trying to protect her, not kill her! Melinda, no. This is all my fault. You were a human. What was I thinking? Scar, help me out! I'm sorry, my love. Either it was the dragon or me. Maybe it's best this way. You will pay forever wanting to kill her. <clears throat> Score! Your head will be on top of my wall. I'm sorry, son. But I cannot be a father to you. Your uncle looks like your father anyway. You will never know. Where's mommy? I'm sorry, Arrow, but your mother is dead. And daddy? He died fighting with the dragon. No. I'm sorry. Sorry. I don't have the guts to raise you. Arrow, call me Uncle. Uncle Scar. I'll take you in. Cinnamon, I'm sorry for blaming you all this time. You may have killed my mother, but you've told me something I never knew. I will put my father where he belongs. I will unite the clans back and bring peace to the dragons. And if you will allow me, let me be your guardian. Yes, Arrow. It would be great for you to be my guardian. The spell's coming off. Yes, I was wondering why you looked so human.
Your marks have changed. Wasn't it always just a crown and three dots above my left eye? No. You used to have a long strip of black running down to your nose. That stood for the mark of evil. But now your marks say royalty and truth. What do Scarlet's say? The same as yours. Females are different. I'm so happy you've joined our side. I am too. Oh, you guys are so cute together. Cinnamon. I'm sorry, you just look cute together. I'll leave. <laughs> I have a slight question for you, Arrow. Where are you going to stay? I don't know. You can't stay at my house because, well, my parents... They would freak out. Yeah. What about Brennan? He's a guy. Whoa, 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 whoa. First off, Brennan and I don't get along. And second, he doesn't know I'm good yet. True. You could stay with me. In here? Plus, it's a good hiding place away from your father. Slash uncle. Let's just call him by his name, Scar. I'm not claiming him as my father or my uncle. I could make you a pillow with the feathers I got from that chicken. I guess that'll be okay. I'll get right to it. Well, are you going to school tomorrow? Well, now that I don't look like a human, I don't think that's a good idea. True. I might just skip. Then we can meet up with the other dragon trainers. I'm no longer a dragon slayer. I'm a dragon trainer. Yeah, I'm glad. It's getting late. I might need to be going. Scarlet, I have one thing to ask. Yeah? Would you be willing to be my, um, well, mate? Well, I guess we can use the human form. Girlfriend? Why, of course. Because mate sounds a little, well, forward. Yeah, I just met you. I keep forgetting that. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I already know you. Oh. Cinnamon. Back in the way. I've got to go before my parents chew me out for being out late. Bye, Cinnamon. Goodbye. I found some pink fabric back in my treasures. I hope you don't mind. It's better than nothing at all. Would you like some chicken stew? That sounds delicious. I've been living off a of frog for weeks. You poor soul. Let me fix you some up right away. 